coming in that um, he had in mind to come into the place, but they sort of backed out and then he came to me and said, hey, if you, know, you want to give it a shot, and so it is. And so that's how we got here. If people, I have talked to so many people, I've been here 10, 11 years now, and I live downtown. So, I mean, I, I know that Brooklyn is here. Right. There's people who live in this city who don't know that there's a Brooklyn. Correct. You know what I mean? It's, <laughs> yeah. it's so interesting because it's such a big, it's a big area with a lot of people living in it, but people do not know that. Yeah, yeah, there's, I mean, it doesn't help that the name's also Brooklyn because every time, especially somebody on the East Coast, they think New York Borough. Mm -hmm. um, that's why we like to use, uh, add in free Brooklyn, uh, just to give it a different designation of more of our positive spin. Because uh, Brooklyn used to be kind of a sleepy working class neighborhood uh, full of maritime railroad workers. Um, but these days, like with other places in the city, it's got a lot of problems uh, that have to be dealt with. And uh, the neighbors are trying to band together, but uh, you know, people sometimes don't have the resources or the energy to do that. And they're more worried about protecting the family, so they'll, you know, they move on or move to a better part of the city. But there's a lot of people who stick it out and still love Brooklyn and uh, this area. It's, it's interesting too because I mean, if um, you're just you're at a bar and mm -hmm. a restaurant, you know, and so ideally you'll have people coming in and you know pay for the things that you're selling all, all the time and making some money ideally. But you, you also seem to want to, to to help your neighborhood. Yeah, there's I'm trying to see where's the connection. Well, like um, up in Station North, uh, I'm from the uh, community association up there in the Midtown Board and stuff. So I've uh, worked with uh, also um, we have a nonprofit, uh, Open Cloud, um, that promote a healthy food initiative to the neighborhood and it's a good way to meet your neighbors especially if you're new to the area because it helps with security and it helps create new clientele because mm -hmm. off the bat people don't know who you are maybe you are not used to your specialty type of food or what have you or experimenting with new foods um, there that's why we have a problem in the city with food deserts and stuff like that people would just uh, get used to eating the same old food and are a little skeptical about um, experimenting. But if you work with them and work with uh, local urban growers, that brings everything together. And people see that not only are you here to help the neighborhood, not just take from the neighborhood, that they start getting in, to, involved as well. I mean, we're trying to start a new business association down here. The Neighborhood Association that Concerned Citizens for Better Brooklyn is a good organization, but it doesn't really address the um, commerce side of Brooklyn. And that needs to be rebuilt because it's very difficult for businesses down here, especially if they're operating in an environment um, where they're working alone, not working with other businesses or the neighborhood. And this could be can help that, which in turn yeah. may actually help the bar long yeah. term. But still, if, if the neighborhood goes, if the neighborhood stays in the current state, mm -hmm. that's not helping you. Basically. No, there's you know there's all these great promises of oh well if we get poor Covington then someday maybe some of that will trickle here. But you know you could people can't wait. People, homeowners and neighbors. Um, other residents don't have that time to wait. You know, they um, they see the property values going down, and there's got to be a better way um, than relying on developers because you have to work on their terms, not your terms. Mm -hmm. so you don't doing it yourself, almost. Yeah, and that's the mm -hmm. new. The Baltimore is based on neighborhoods, strong neighborhoods and communities, and uh, you know, it's worked so far, even though we're having problems um, all across the city, uh, we, we should stick to uh, the old 
system of neighborhoods working together, but combined with a new outlook that is, you know, fights things like segregation and other things that and drugs and things that affect you know, the city. Did, did I hear you talk on the phone the other day in another language? That's um, what, yeah, um, I'm a Scottish Gaelic student. I know a little of Irish Gaelic. Uh -huh. um, we have a, a class that goes through here. We also have uh, promote other parts of Irish and Scottish culture. Uh, Tuesday nights we have a, a, a traditional Irish session that does go into you know other forms of folk, and that's uh, done by um, Taylor and Allison Jenkins. Who uh, Taylor is a um, Brooklyn Park uh, elementary school music teacher. Are you from here or are you from someplace else? No, I was born in St. Louis. I came to Baltimore via San Francisco with a nursing study. Okay. And, but you've also been interested in the Irish Scottish heritage? Yeah, that's my Irish. heritage. Okay. Um, I know other uh, people uh, enjoy the culture and marches Irish Heritage Month. Mm -hmm. So, if they pass the come out, that could be good for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hoping for a turnout, I guess, right? Yeah, and uh, Gaelic, it would be Lava um, Hari Shona Dudek. It would be Happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. <laughs> <laughs> so, but that, that all combined brings me to the mirror because it, if people know a little bit about Ireland and Northern Ireland, they know that there's been some issues there. You know, yeah. If they know a lot, they'll know, they'll see the mirror on the side, I know what that means. Mm -hmm. I know, I know that, that has, has it may have different meanings to different people. Um, but the, the people who are in the, the activist community, mm -hmm. they might see it and say, I like these guys. These are my guys. Yeah, is that, is that what you're trying to do, or is that not really? Yeah, right? but it's, it's kind of twofold. I mean, drawing off the original mural in the bog side of Derry, um, Ireland, in my mom, they, um, it's, it's showing a, an entrance to an area that's been sort of segregated, well, it's definitely segregated from the rest of the city. Um, it's more of a Catholic area called the bog side. And, um, so it's defining an area, an area that is trying to maintain its own and uh, be liberated in a sense, which in Brooklyn, we're looking for the same thing, a positive message that it's a community coming together more liberated than being oppressed by whatever conditions. For, for Brooklyn, I mean, it's, it's difficult because it was annexed from the county in 1919. And, you know, even through World War II, the, the neighborhoods, well, like you said, it was a nice working class neighborhood, but I don't know, since the mid 80s, uh, late or early 90s, the neighborhood has been basically forgotten by the city. And that's definitely one of the biggest problems right now. So. We're defining ourselves as almost independent. If the city doesn't care about us and we're not part of the county, we have to be on to ourselves and organize that way in a positive way. Free, um, free Brooklyn. Yeah, and that's why we, the, people see this positive message and they like it a lot. Are you concerned that the people who are not in the activist community, mm -hmm. the, uh, we'll call them Tories for the purpose of this, <laughs> <laughs> would they, would they, would they, they might see this part as they, I don't want to go there. Those, right. are not, those are not my people. Well, um, I don't think that that has been the Well, I know that it hasn't been the case. People have only seen it as a positive message and have dropped in and asked about it. And, you know, like a police officer dropped in the other day and said he was from Derry and he winds up his mother was from there and he knew that instantly. And he thought, you know, what a great idea. So, um, We've only seen positive in anything that can define Brooklyn or get it into people's minds is a positive thing because, as you said before, uh, people that live in the city, probably a majority of the people that live in Baltimore, have no idea this neighborhood exists. But if, if say, just for the sake of argument, for example, a Trump supporter was to come and, and, and buy a view, mm -hmm. you'd be generally okay with that. 
Well, we're uh, fine with anybody coming in, but we're no strangers to political debate. I know a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot of people. <laughs> um, a lot of people think that bars were are a place where you don't talk about politics or religion, but you know the United States was founded in in pubs. You know, so it's it's actually part of the democratic process to have this debate. And you know, granted, some a Trump supporter may not feel comfortable here just as much as you know I wouldn't feel comfortable at the rope walk, and it's next to a statue of Ronald Reagan. So you can't say that no bar do this. Usually, that is a comment by somebody who is trying to be neutral, which being neutral only supports. An oppressor. Any, anyone with money and good intentions is welcome at Liam's. Yes, of course. And we're a friendly right. environment. We don't, even even in our debates, we all, always do it in a friendly manner. Uh, and St. Patrick's Day is coming up. I mean, is, it, is that tea free for an Irish bar? Yeah, we missed it last year. Of course, the, you know, the Ale House was open at that time. Mm -hmm. um, the first time I'm doing management for the holiday. Yeah. Yeah, and everybody who's come in says it, you may not see a lot of people throughout the year, but on St. Patrick's Day, this place is just, you know, it goes crazy. Let me get a shot of this Ponzi. You're good right there. I'm going to see if I can do this without. It was much easier when I had a photographer do it. You want me to do it? I ain't got to pay me. <laughs> you I ain't gonna touch nothing, man. Don't touch it. Just I ain't gonna touch it. nothing. My screen's broken too, so I only got the little screen. Alright, I gotta keep down. Alright, so we'll just talk. Um, Mural just got finished this past weekend, right? Mm -hmm. or is it? Okay. The mural was um, painted by um, a local tattoo artist <laughs> who's also a Plain, uh, Martin Plain, who works at Idle Hands uh, Tattoo Shop in Plain Burning. And people have literally seen it and come in to ask about it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah, and going up and taking pictures next to it. This is so Flynn's Crab and Cats. Live feeding from ABC2. It's going to be aired later this week. So, what did you think about my thing right there? What you just read? Oh, it's all right. See, look at you, huh? Oh, you got a new phone? No, mine is crappy. You don't see the old. The old was all, I mean, I dropped it a couple times and it's taped all over. Get the volumes up. I did. I added a boost. This is my friend from the post office. This is a live feed, so you on TV. Oh! <laughs> Alright. What do you want? We got collard greens, we got baked beans, we got turkey, we got chicken, we got ribs, we got sausages. What you want? We just had some crab soup. I'm going to be right back and I'm going to cut this live feed off. All right, we out here in Brooklyn. Like I said, we're doing uh, ABC2 is out here. They get a shorty pass. All right, you are now entering Free Brooklyn. This is an activist community, an activist bar. You know what I'm saying? This Freedom Town. That's why I'm here. It's about my activism, about their activism, about our activism in the community. We're doing the good in the hood. And this is going to be a free art space real soon. I'm also collecting toilets. For real, for real. I'm collecting toilets to put them in free art spaces. So you can contact me. I will come pick up the toilet. And I will dress the toilet accordingly. And we'll put the toilets out to where they need to go. Alright, Judge Cox got my grand jury papers today. They signed for him. I should be getting some paper confirmation in the mail that he received it. So then I'm going to start doing what I do. An activism bar. It's activism. The good in the community. The positive. So come on up and support.